Hello guys, it's Blinging Blissy here. Welcome back to more Pokemon Reborn with Sean. Last time, we searched for volunteers for Adrian, and today, we're going to continue doing that. <laughs> Man. They're really inconspicuous when it comes to the uh, NPCs, I feel like. Yeah, they, they're they literally just normal NPCs, and so we just have to talk to everybody. Um, off screen, I did do a little bit of stuff. Uh, first of all... I found, I think, this person. I should be safe here, right? I was running from some strange guy. I think I lost him, but I kind of don't want to go home right now in case I run into him again. I wonder if there's somewhere else near here that I could go. Oh, the Coral Gym is open for help? Hmm, okay. Volunteering will be a good way to keep myself busy while I lay low. I'll go help out. Interesting. So at this point, uh, we're actually good to go. We can just talk to Adrian, and we can we can do the gym battle now. But... Uh, we've only found five. It sounds like you get a better reward for doing ten, and then you might even get the best reward if you find all fifteen. All right. Yeah, someone in the comments, uh, Balalaika, informed us that there were fifteen in total. All right. So let's see who we got. So um, I'm kind of uh, like not in the loop at all. But how many? Uh... How many weeks away are we from the new game coming out? Oh, BDSP? Yeah. Uh, not very far, honestly. I think it's like mid-November, late November. So about maybe three weeks? Yeah, we got some news on that front, too. Interesting. We, uh... Um, what, what, what was the news? Yeah, so there's some details about the XP share, how they're... So apparently the XP share wasn't, uh locked on all the time in Sword and Shield, maybe, but now it is. In, B in BDSP, the XP share is, like, on all the time. It wasn't on all the time? I, I didn't think, notice that. I think maybe you had an option to turn it off in Sword and Shield, but yeah, now uh, it's back to the way it was before. Oh, so no matter what, it's always going to be on? Yeah. Ah, uh, how do we feel about that? I've... Like, at first, like, I was definitely one of those people where I was like, I'm just not a fan of the new XP share, I'll turn it off if I can. Like, the first time I played a Sun and Moon, I turned it off and I kept it off. Um, right. But I've reached a point where I'm just like, it's it's whatever. If, if they're designing it with the XP share in mind, then I don't really care that much. Right. But then there are people that understandably don't have faith that they will design the game well around the XP share. In what way, in, in the terms that you might get overleveled, or yeah, I think it's also just because like it's an old game that they're like kind of retrofitting to work with the XP share, the new XP share. Sorry, but so what makes you think that they wouldn't scale the game's experience a little bit differently? I think they will, but some people, other people, don't have as much faith in in the developers that they will. Uh, design it well around the XP share, I guess. I hear that, but I also have zero expectation that the game will feel or play the same, like, closely to the originals. Like, obviously it'll have that same nostalgia, but as far as it being, you know, you load up the game and you don't even get the XP share until, what is it, after the second gym? And then even then it's Hold on. <laughs> is this an important NPC? I don't know. My, my fiance and I had a little misunderstanding. I thought they were cheating on me, so when I got mad, I flung my engagement ring out into the lake. The truth was cleared up later, and everything's okay with us now. But I haven't told them that I lost the ring yet. I've never felt regret like this. I wish I could fix it, but the ring was custom set, so I can't just buy an, it, buy an identical one. And of course, there's no chance I'd be able to find it in the lake. Ugh, what am I going to do? There's no fucking way that we're supposed to go, like, diving or swimming or some shit for that ring, is it? Which lake is she talking about? I don't know. <laughs> There's no lake here. Wait, hold Maybe she said. In the lake. What is... Where is the lake? I don't think there's one over here. This is like... Oh. Okay, so this is all different, by the way. So this is the new Jasper word. <laughs> Right. The Jasper Ward was all fucked up before, but now it's fixed. Maybe there's a leg over here, but anyway, um... What were we talking about? We were talking about, uh, BDSP. the game... Right. 
you have no expectation it'll be like the old games. As far as like actual level scaling and things like that, because like I was saying, like you didn't get the XP share until the second gym in the other game or in the old games. I have zero expectation that it'll feel as if I get a new Pokemon and I need to grind it out or go for a more challenging run where, you know, I catch a new Pokemon and then I just don't even bother. I just do like a switch training, things like that. Like switch training is not even really a thing anymore. Like it doesn't even matter. Right. So as far, I mean, if, if we're using Sword and Shield for any reference, then yeah, I don't expect the new games to play anything like the originals as far as um, experience goes. Yeah, as far as training up new party members, like people are kind of split on like which way they prefer. Like, pro maybe like a minority of people are like, well, I mean, you don't you don't have to grind Pokemon anymore. They always just are up to date with your other dudes, so that's kind of a good thing. But then there are other people that are like, you know, they just prefer the way it used to be. Yeah, and I mean, that would be nice, but I I think it would be smarter to just have no expectation that uh, you could, especially now with that being confirmed, like, yeah, no, it's just not going to happen as far as leveling goes. It's just going to be different. Yeah. I mean, e even as a whole, like, I don't know, there's kind of two different attitudes you can have where it's like, why would I play this when I can just play Platinum? But then the other attitude is like, well, if it's going to be completely different, then maybe I should just expect it to be like a new kind of experience. Yeah. And I mean, so I get it. But the thing is, if you were a fan of Diamond and Pearl to begin with, then, I mean, I still view the new games as worth, like, trying at least, playing. Um, it's just... Things like that, like, there's, it's just no getting over it. Like, they've made their decision that group experience is just a thing. It's been a thing since, what, like, 6th gen, basically? Yeah. And to be fair, X and Y was not balanced particularly well with the XP share, despite it being, like, <laughs> it really, It really wasn't. Like, level 80 it, by the champion. It really wasn't. Like, it, yeah, if you use a rotation of, like, three Pokemon in uh, X and Y, you were going to be, like, level 80. Um... I'm just thinking, like, yeah, and and like like you were saying, um, the game was very easy if you used the experience share. The game was very hard if you didn't. So I that's true. X and Y, like, more than any other Pokemon game, like it suddenly becomes like extremely challenging if you use like the standard Nuzlocke rules and turn off XP share. All okay. right. Oh, he whoa! It's a wild. Is karma. that a is that a higher level in Carl? <laughs> Whoa. Okay, but the thing is, there's gonna be no uh, EV values on that one. Yeah, sure. Our, our, ours is still better. Not to mention, this is the original Carla, not some wild sheep. Not even the same gender. If I just throw like a single Pokeball at it. Very low effort. One Pokeball. Doesn't work. Move the fuck on. So you may have noticed, um,. I grinded Clink Clang from 73 all the way to 80 in preparation for Adrian. As you were speaking, I noticed that. That's crazy. I also grinded Goose Nukem from like 76 to 78. Um, what I ended up doing was, I actually did it like right before this recording session. Um, I checked out the rotating trainers in the Pokemon Center, and there's three of them in there, uh, I guess, on Sunday. Today's Sunday. Um, two of them were like pretty hard. One of them had like a level 90 Meganium. Level 90? Yeah, so definitely like above our current level curve. Uh, I was able to beat them, but like just barely. And also like, it was kind of challenging getting it so that Clang Clang got the majority majority of the, of the experience. Uh, finally, I discovered the third trainer who was like hiding in the corner. He has like a whole fossil team, which would usually be annoying because they all have like sturdy and focus ash and stuff. But Clang Clang mm -hmm. just spams a uh, gear grind, which is a multi-hit move. Uh huh, so it breaks the focus sesh and or sturdy. Yeah, so Clink Clink was perfect for that fight, so I got him pretty high up on that guy, and I also gave the XP share to, uh, to Goose Nukem. Fucking good deal, man. 
crazy. That concludes our new exploration of Malchus Forest. Malchus fucking forest, dude. So, Sean, have you tried Metroid, uh, the new Metroid game? I have played it. It's really good. I'm not, I'm not done with it yet, though. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have zero information on that game. Like, I don't even know what it looks like. Oh, interesting. I think it's a really good looking game. 3D, I'm assuming. It's a it's a 2D game with 3D graphics. Okay. Lord, after being on the streets for so long when this place was destroyed, or to be back here now is surreal. Draft reward was the most fucked up out of all the wards before. I do remember that. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful that the Jasper Ward has been rebuilt, but if I could go back to the way things were before, I wouldn't even think of twice about it. No matter how bright the future may be, it's meaningless if the people you care about aren't in it. Oh. That's, that's an interesting take, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Hi, stranger who just walked into my apartment complex. <laughs> Why are you staring at me? Look, I already have social anxiety. Just being down here is challenging for me. And it's not like I have anyone I can hang out with in this city. So just let me be. What? You know a way to meet people? Eh? <laughs> I can't volunteer. That's way too much interaction. Relatable. But then again, I won't get used to it if I just shy away from it. And maybe I won't be so nervous if I have a project to collaborate with others on. Yeah, just focus on the goal. Okay, I'll try it. Goodbye. Six down, making progress. They say that fires are healthy for forests because they make way for new growth. Seeing how Jasper has sprung back, I get the feeling that might be true after all. Please don't start forest fires. That would be the last thing Reborn needs right now. I mean in real life, California's like on fire half the time. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> uh, I'm going there soon. Fuck. Yeah, Slushy's <laughs> moving to California next month. I am. It's exciting. It is exciting. Um, Hopefully I don't have to deal with that end of it. Since the old one was destroyed, the city decided to build a new medical clinic into the Pokemon Center. No, no wonder it looks different. That would be nice if anyone below the age of 70 could even afford service. <laughs> okay. It's like a Medicare system? Well, yeah. Like, what? what, what is this? Flash your insurance card. Well, no, but literally, like... Yeah, I don't know. It's a big building, but it doesn't look, it doesn't look like we can go very, very far in here. Very far, yeah. To tell you the truth, Doc, the plants were terrifying, but I was always more afraid of the people. So, I understand that you've had some anxiety around this area after the attacks a bit ago. Could you tell me about that? Fuck. Excuse me, I'm a bit busy right now. I'm making preparations for this place to become a station for the rebuilt railnet system. We've also got people working just on the other side of Barrel Wall to run the tracks from Grandview Station up under the Jasper and Barrel Wards. Of course, it's still going to take a lot more time and money for this project to be completed, so please be patient. Oh yeah, before I forget, um, rem remember that blind NPC that we talked to when she gave us the quiz? Yeah. I think it may have been Cactus Pear in the Discord or someone in the comments, I can't remember. But apparently, if we continue talking to her, she, um... She gives us some useful info for, like, the next gems coming after Adrian. Interesting. So that might be good to keep in mind. I mean, I expect them to be particularly hard, so it doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Hello there! I'm researching the geological history of the Reborn region. Interested? <laughs> the fuck? Wonderful! Let's start with this. Did you know that long ago... Emertree Mountain used to be a volcano? But that's not all. Harvest Mountain in Apophil used to be as frigid as Emertree is now. Or now is, I should say. 
Legends from an old civilization say that the day their civilization ended was the day that Garatina came to. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Garatina came to reborn. Geology in quotes. Oh <laughs> yeah. They say the dragon was in a frenzy, and that all around it bizarre things would happen. And objects would disappear. Lands would be spun upside down. And the whole towns would be transported across the region in the blink of an eye. According to the stories, by the time the Dimensional Warrior finally settled in the southeast region, its chaos had already been its chaos had already sealed the fate of Reborn. Amatrine froze, and every speck of magma turned into crystal clear ice water. Pyrus erupted all at once, a volley of smoke and snow upheaved from its peak. The lava bled down the slope, burning away what traces of lives had been there and what is now powerful. And in the months to follow, the rising temperatures thawed the snow, which formed what is now Azarine Lake, burying their old city beneath it. Oh. I hear some divers can still f That explains a lot, doesn't it? It actually does. I hear some divers can still find artifacts from those days down there. As for Garatina... I wonder what could have happened to it. The record's about to end it there. I feel like that's a very important event in the Reborn region's history, and I find it odd we're just now learning about it. Yeah. From a random NPC. Yeah, like all the all those diving like uh like scenarios we've been in, it's it makes a lot of sense now. <laughs> like we had no idea or any context as to why it was like that. Yeah. Until now. Here we are. So that's everything. Right. Let's get the city back on track. So this was the police station where we got like that Growlithe side quest a long time ago. Good to see you again, old friend. Thanks to your efforts, the reborn city police department is back at full operation. If anything is troubling you, please do not hesitate to inform us. We're committed to keeping the city at a peaceful place once and for all. Ah, if you're interested in that Corrin Rogue character, are you? Okay, if memory, if, if memory serves, um, that was the last thing that came up in that, like, running side quest, where it was like, the guy took the Pokemon, and then we found him, and someone else took it, so on and so forth. I think Corrin Rouge, we encountered them in, like, 7th Street? That's right. He's a confounding one, to be sure. He is a flesh individual, but skilled at hiding and get aways, so we've tracked much of his movement, though never been able to catch him. Now we've got many other obstacles out of the way, we've already begun to turn a focus onto him. If you'd like to take a vanguard into the operation, I'm sure we'd be able to catch him in no time at all. Here's the situation. We've received an increasing number of reports about his whereabouts. That is, the numbers are so fast increasing, it puts them in three different places at once. What? The reports all came in around the same time, but for wildly different places. I'd like you to investigate them. First, he was sighted around Malchus for- okay. We were just there. just there. A moment later, we heard he was on a small islet in Azarine Lake. Finally. An officer reportedly saw him around the same time as Sunset Circle in Peridot. Most of our officers are still occupied on a multitude of other tasks, so I shall entrust this task to you. Well, alright then. Azarine Lake, the forest, and Sunset Circle in Peridot. And what's this dude using fucking instant transmission? Like, what's going on? <laughs> he has instant transmission. When the city restoration began, lots of people stepped up to train as officers. Seems like it just took a little push to get people to take the city's safety into their own hands. But between my Growlithe and I, I'm sure we could handle it all ourselves anyway. I guess we can check out the forest. So our, our, our main objective is still to find the NPCs for the thing, but while we're at it, we can check this out too. No doubt. Let's see if we can find them in here now. Um, I'm gonna put on some repels. Repels. If you know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. 
to put the bike onto. We talked about Metroid Dread like really briefly, but yeah, I've been really enjoying it. I don't know if I'd recommend it as like a first 2D Metroid game, um, even though it is really good. It's just, I don't know. I know it's, it's kind of a meme to be like, oh, Nintendo's $60 is only like a, a 10 hour game or whatever, but you know, $60 is kind of steep for like someone purchasing a new game. So uh, I would say look at some gameplay and see if it's for you. As someone who was not a Metroid fan coming into like playing Nintendo games, I feel like Zero Mission or Fusion, for as far as 2D Metroid goes, is probably like the way to go. Fusion is the one I would recommend. I recall that one being the easiest. And then Zero Mission is like a little bit on the harder side. Yeah. Zero Mission is also a remake of one of the uh, NES or SNES ones. I can't remember which one. I think but... Zero Mission is a remake of the very first one. Right. Yeah. Corin Rouge. Aha! What the fuck? You found me at last! Or have you? As if the real Corrin Rouge would be caught so easily. However, if you are able to defeat me, I'll give you a hint as to where the real one might be. That's some bullshit. Casanova Clar Claret. This is not a favorable matchup. I, I don't... I don't understand Casanova. Like... <laughs> like, in real life, like... You run into a, a Casanova, like... He would not- I, I get it, we're playing Pokemon, but I'm just thinking, like, he would not be standing somewhere in a fucking forest, like, being a stickler for some other dude. You know what I mean? True. Also, you should never identify yourself as a Casanova, just as a matter of principle. Right, like, that defeats the point of being a Casanova. I don't know. Fucking Pokemon. He had a Zoroark, which is thematically appropriate, but we're getting fucked up, so I don't like it. How did that point or one shot? <laughs> That's us? a really good question. It didn't even activate like the field effect or anything. Yeah. He's faster. What the fuck? <laughs> oh what? What's going on? Is he bro? choiced? I don't. I don't think he's even. Sean, what is going on? I don't know. I'm trying to. <laughs> what? Yo. Like I, I'm trying to make sense of the fact that we're getting one what shot. Why is he so strong? Zora. I know he's level seventy-four. Yeah, we're stronger than him in every way. What the fuck? Did he? Oh, he used nasty plot twice earlier. That's right. Wait, really? Yeah. I completely missed that. That's how we're getting completely fucked. All right. Well, next time we're Pokemon Reborn. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, hold on. We 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 have a way out. I think. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. <laughs> No, we don't. Wait, so what did he do to Bro earlier that like did so much damage? I don't remember. Next potion it... anywhere? Ultra potion. At what, what point did we do damage to it? We used Surf with Bro, and it like it was a crit, but the field effect weakened it. All right, next time Pokemon Reborn. I, I can't believe that. We just lost $21,000. Next time Pokemon Reborn. We go to the home. We're going to we we're gonna have to figure shelter. out how to not be broke. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. 